Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is my entire lipstick collection. This includes everything from liquid lipsticks, glosses, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, um, satin lipsticks, everything in between. Um, the only thing this does not include is basically my chapstick lip tints. Uh, my chapsticks themselves, like my lip, you know, like my chapstick formula or lip balms themselves. Those were not included because I didn't figure, you know, those should be included. And I really only have like maybe 10, 12. Um, and then this does not include my lip liners because I only have like nine lip liners. And I basically need all nine of them because a few of them are vampy ones. And then I have my like clear ones that don't cause feathering. But some of these I'm getting rid of. And I'm just kind of doing a declutter, but I kind of already have my sections. Like, these are all my trash ones, because they're old. And then these are all my giveaways. And they'll be going to either my friend's daughter, or uh, one of, two of my friends of, like, they're, like, medium skin tones. They might be getting some of these shades, because some of them are just too, like, they're basically my skin tones, so they make me look kind of almost dead. So let's just go over everything. This is my first lip color decluttering. So I just want to kind of go through everything, see what I have so I don't buy too much in the near future. There are some that I kind of want to get this year, but I'm like, do I really need it? Probably not. So let's first go over what I'm getting rid of. This was in the keep pile, but I have since moved it. And this is the Makeup Revolution gloss. And this is like a hot pink gloss. And I probably just would not wear a hot pink gloss. And this one is the Go Tint by Benefit. And I'm just not really big into these types of lip products. This one is a really nice lip gloss. But it's just too sticky for me. And this is the Long Last Gloss Wear in the shade 23 First Date by Clinique. I do think that would be a really good lip gloss to give my friend's daughter because that's a really nice like first lip gloss. Clinique was like the first makeup brand that I really wore. And this one is Touch of Soul and this is that metallic lipstick that they were doing in the Sephora huge lip kit. That was in 2017. I figure if anything that will be a fun one for her to play with. Um, this one is a matte lip color and this is one of those shades that's just way too light for me so I figure maybe my friends with deeper skin tones can get more use out of this and this is naturally nude. This one is a very like red red shade and this is Stay Matte All Day Rimmel and I have enough liquid red sh liquid red shades that I'm not in love with this formula so I feel like it can go and I got it in a Target box. These are two of the ColourPop Ultra Mattes that I'm getting rid of. I am not a huge fan of their Ultra Matte formula. So I feel like if I don't love the color, I probably should not keep it because I will not be using it. And this one is in the color Aquarius. And this is a cool tone, like my skin tone color. And literally, I look dead when I wear the shade. I do not like it. And this one is in Viper. And it's just a cool tone, like very purpley shade. And it's just... Not for me. But I mean, it's a gorgeous color. It just does not look good on me. I think this would look gorgeous on deeper skin tones. But it just does not look good on my skin tone. And then I'm also putting two of these little red lipsticks in there. One's by Sephora and one's by some high-end brand, but I really don't know which one. Because it just came like the one of those little kits. And you just... I just have too many reds. I have a zillion reds and I only wear reds on certain occasions. It's not like everyday color for me, so those are going in the gift pile. These are two crayons that I'm giving away. And this one is in the Simply Vamp. And this is just too dark to be a crayon because I feel like crayons don't give you that precision you need for a dark color. And then this one is in Simply Red. I really do like this one. It's a really nice shade. But like I said, I had so many reds. And you can only have so many of the same exact color. And this one is also by NYX. And this is in their matte lipstick formula. I absolutely love this formula. However, 
I will never wear a neon orange in my life. So this one is going. And then I have these two like, um, these are liquid suede. This one is like a bluish gray color and I said like those that Aquarius one makes me look dead. This one like seriously makes me look like I'm sick and dying and dead and everything in between. It really looks terrible so I don't even know why they put that on a lip kit. It's just scary looking. And everyone I've seen it on, it's not flattering for anyone that I've seen it on. It's just why? Why, NYX? Why? I get they are trying to be fun, but y'all put some cool purple ones that I'm keeping in there, and I figured that's probably enough fun as, like, that anyone's going to wear in a 24-day period, so. But that's just my two cents. And then, I also in getting rid of this one, just because I'm not huge on the formula. I kept one of them to see if I, the formula grows on me. And then I am getting rid of three of the lingeries. I am not huge on the formula on this one either and I am just not into these kind of nude shades. So all three of those are going. I am getting rid of two of the um, soft matte lip creams that came out and these are just too pinky to me. I am getting rid of this one. I love this formula too so it sucks that they gave us such a terrible color. <laughs> But if I was 12 years old, I would not think this is a 12 is a terrible color because when I was 12, it was 1999 and this was the end color. Does anybody else remember that? This was like the jam. This was like the be all color. This was like you were not cool unless you wore this and that ugly white eyeliner. Yes, <laughs> this brings back memories. But... This does not look good. <laughs> and then I'm getting rid of all four of my Makeup Revolution lipsticks. There was actually six of them. I did get rid of two other ones. Um, I'm getting rid of the dark red. I'm getting rid of the nude. I'm getting rid of the regular red. And I'm getting rid of the corally pink. I do not like the formula. It's very waxy and it's just not comfortable on my lips. So, I'm going to go over what's in the trash pile last, and then let's go over what I'm keeping. I do want to make sure I do a tally at the end. That was one thing I forgot, I think, in like my first attempt at this video. So, let's go over liquid lipsticks first. So, I have all the Wet n Wild cat suits except for the three, except for three colors. I don't have the nudist one. And I don't have the two vampiest colors. So I have the shade Nudist Peach, which I really love around springtime. And then I have this really bright top pink, which I got this one for $2. So I figured, like, why not? Since I love the formula. This one is an Oh My Dolly. And then I got this one called Rebel Rose. And this one I have purchased several times. The first time I forgot I purchased it, so it was still sealed, so I think I returned it. And the second time I purchased it because my mom loved the lipstick color on me so much and she really liked the formula, so I let her keep mine and I ended up buying me a new one later on. So this one is Rebel Rose and this is like the ultimate nude liquid lipstick for me. This one lives in my purse. I love the shade. It's one of those beautiful mauve lipsticks and I knew showing it to my mom that she was totally going to steal it. Um, this one is Cool Corruption, and I really like this one in the springtime, so I can't wait to wear that when it gets to be more spring. Believe it or not, it was 80 degrees Thursday, and it snowed this morning. It snowed. And then this one is in Give Me Mocha, and this one is one of those, like, um, terracotta, like, reddish shades. Um, almost, like, leaning towards a brick red, but not a brick red. Um, this one... Lips in my purse. I absolutely adore these colors. So that one also lives in my purse. And then continuing with Wet n Wild. This one is in Berry uh, Recognize. And this one looks gorgeous on. I love this color. This one is in Missy and Fierce. And this is just your classic red. This one is in the shade Nice to Fuchsia. 
And this one is in the shade Pink Really Hard, and it's just your classic pink. Okay, and then I have these two by Rimmel. And these, I'm not quite sure if I like the formula, but I'm going to go ahead and keep them for now. And um, this one is in like a vampy-ish color. It's in like a vampy purple color. It's really pretty. I don't know the name of these, though. I'm trying to decide if I really want to get rid of these or not. I know I don't want to get rid of the next color, but this is like the vampier one. I feel like I could get rid of that one, but... And this one is in the coral one. The coral one is staying, for sure. I love this color. I used to not like corals on me, but now I do. And I really like that color, so that one is definitely staying. And this one is by Ofra, and this one was in my Ipsy bag, and I really think Ipsy really knows what shade I like because it normally gives me always a shade. And this one is called Ipsy Unzipped. This one is by Huda Beauty and this was in the Sephora like big box of lipsticks. And this is my favorite liquid lipstick formula. Like, granted, I've only tried this one color and this is in the shade Bombshell. But this is like the perfect liquid lipstick. It is not over drying. It just stays comfortable all day, and this is a really nice color. I really want to get more of them during the VIB sale. Um, this one is an Infallible Lipstick by L'Oreal. This is their new formula, and this is in the shade Shakedown. I do not have another color like this one. I really love this shade. It's kind of one of those, like, 90 browns. 90s browns. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of nostalgic back before I could even wear makeup. So this is So Susan, and this is obviously just like one of those shades I like. And I really like this formula. It's not very like drying, so it's a really good look with lipstick. This was in, is by Girl Plastic Beauty. And I haven't even tried this one out. And again, it's like one of those just classic like my type of shades. But I think I just got this one. I got it in one of my monthly subscription boxes. And this one's in the shade, this one is a, a Tardist one, and this one is in the shade Birthday Suit. We got this last year from the Sephora birthday. So that one's not old at all because my birthday is like later part of September. So um, this one's from Smashbox, and this is in the color Driver Seat, and I really like this color. And I've heard great things about the formula. And this one is a Melted Matte by Too Faced. And this one I got in the Boss Lady kit that my husband gave me. It's a really nice color. Um, this one might be finding a new home, but I'm going to give it a few more chances, see if I use it this year. If not, it will be finding itself a new home because I'm just not too keen on this color. I kind of want to... Oh, it really matches that, like... Kind of matches that Rimmel one. I don't know. Let me see. This one's definitely like a little bit more purpley, but it's close to that color. So I might be getting rid of one of those. And then I have the Kat Von D um, red color, and this is in their lipstick, the liquid lipstick, and I just love the packaging, and I just got this one, so definitely keeping that, because I've heard great things about her formula. Um, this one is the Stila, really, like, dark lipstick in Roboto, and this one I really love, and I've heard great things about the Stila formula. I really just got that one, and in, like, a Give Me Bold kit. So, while we're on the theme of liquid lipsticks, let's just go ahead and go through these. So, I have these from ColourPop, and this one's in the shade Barracuda. If Barracuda is the same as, no, it's definitely not, because I like Barracuda a lot. So, that one's Barracuda, and this one is an Ultra Satin Lip, which is in the wrong spot, because I was going through my Ultra Mattes first. And then this one is in Screenshot. And this one's a beautiful, like, peachy nude. And this and then this one is in Alyssa, and this one's also a satin. So I guess my satins and my liquid lipsticks are mixed up, my liquid mattes. So this one's really beautiful. It's a muted pink. 
And then this one is an ultra sun, and this is in November, and I've gotten so many compliments on this lip shade. I absolutely love it. It is just like this beautiful everyday pink. It's part of the Kathleen Lights collection. Um, this one is Frick and Frank, and this is one of those beautiful brick reds that I like. Those like terracotta red bricky colors. <laughs> And then this one is Calypso, and again, it's another one of those shades I like, so of course it's staying. And I think I got it in an Ipsy bag. And this one is called Speed Dial. I absolutely love this peachy nude. Um, this one I've worn a few times out with my husband because it's ultra matte, and he really likes his liquid lipsticks on me because he doesn't have to worry about getting them on himself. And this one is also ultra matte, and this one is in Saragon. And it's just one of those beautiful red shades. I absolutely love this color. This one is a dark red, and it's in the shade Roach. And then this one is just a nudie nude. And this is in Times Square. And it has like a peak tint to it, so this is kind of like one of those perfect nude shades. This one's in the shade Chai. And this one I thought was a little too nude for me. And it kind of is, but it looks really nice with like one of those like sheer pink glosses on it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Um, this one is Inst Instigator, and this is one of those peachy nudes I like. And then this one is Ipsy VIP, and this is a gloss. And it's like a hot pink gloss. It is really pretty. And I got this one on like clearance on Colourpop. I think it was like two bucks. And then I got this one. It's the Aquarius gloss and it's like a nude gloss. Okay, so let's go over my metallics real quick. And this one is in the shade Glam. And it's by Colourpop. And this is the only one I think I would get rid of if I got rid of any of my metallics. But it's just so beautiful. It's from the Laura Lee collection. And this one I absolutely love. This color is like pretty vulgar. And this one is in the shade My Lips Are Sealed. And it's just this beautiful like shimmery pink color. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. I love the shade and I love the packaging. So of course that one is staying. Um, this is just a shiny red lipstick. Perfect for the holidays. And then let's go over all the NYX ones I am keeping. So I'm keeping this one NYX lingerie. And this one's in the shade Exotic. Um, I'm keeping this one NYX suede. And this one... Okay, I'm not quite sure which shade this one is, but I'm keeping this one. And this one is in the shade Coca... Cocahogan? I don't know if I that, but I guess that's right. Soft Matte Lip Cream. These are all from the Advent Calendar. I'm keeping two of the Intense Butter Glosses. And I'm keeping the purple one and then the purple one's in the shade Berry uh, Streusel. And then I'm keeping Trish Leches. Trish Leches is just that perfect nude. And then... This purple one is actually the shade. So like I said, they gave us enough fun colors to where they did not need to include that blue. That That's just my two cents. Um, I'm keeping all three of the butter glosses. Like I wish they would have given us more of the butter glosses because I absolutely love this formula. I'm keeping all three of these. None of these are going anywhere. I have the shade Creme Brulee, the shade Raspberry Tart, and the shade Sugar Cookie. Once these run out, I probably will purchase some new ones. So, um, I also really loved these. I really wish that pink one was a wearable color because I absolutely love the formula on these. And this one is in the shade um, Bright Berry. Just so beautiful. And then this one is in the shade, I think this one's, yeah, Root Beer Float. And then I'm keeping three of the matte ones, and I really liked this formula too. 
Um, this one is in the shade Shocking Pink. And that pink is shocking. And this one is in the shade Eden, and it's just this very classic red. I wore this um, to a Christmas party this year. It's a perfect size for that too, it's nice and compact. Uh, I um, This one is in the shade Up the Base. And this one's another fun color too, like, I don't understand. So this one's just like this beautiful, like, I love this color. Um, I can't wait to wear this, probably around like Halloween. It's just like this gray type of purpley shade. It's so pretty. So let's go over all my glosses. So I have this cute little petite bunny from Tony Moly. And he's just this little hot pink gloss. It's too cute. And then I have this coral one. I got this in like one of those Ulta like spend 60. You get like a gift. And then I have a Makeup Revolution. This is the one that I said I was going to keep. And I'm going to get rid of the other one because I'm just not too keen on the formula. And this one is one of the Tarte Rainforest the Sea like little lipsticks. And I got this in September and it's almost out. And this was a full size. So that shows you how much I use that. So this one is My Little Pony Ultra Glossy Lip. And this one is in the shade Flutter Valley. And it's just like gold glitter everywhere goodness. This is perfect for the holidays and looks great over a red lip. This one um, came in the Naked on the Run kit. I am thinking I'm probably going to go ahead and pass it on to my friend's daughter who's really getting into makeup. But I love this gloss, so she's not getting this gloss because I love this gloss. Um, and then I have three of the Anastasia glosses. I absolutely love this formula. I have this one in Vamp, which it is kind of vampy for a gloss. I don't know how much use I'll get out of it kind of afraid of it getting on my teeth um, and then I have this shade vintage which is one of my most loved lipsticks um, it is the glass that lives in my purse and then I have the shade butterscotch which is just like a nude gloss and then I have this gloss by um, Ulta it's called their butter balm and I really like this gloss it's just one of those beautiful like lightly tinted red glosses really nice then I have a few more from Ulta. I have two in Olivia, which I figure counts as a full, because these are two like little sample ones. And I really like the color, and this one is in the shade Guava. And then I have this Dior Lip Maximizer, and this one's just a clear gloss, which you can't have no clear glosses. Plus the packaging is super beautiful, and I will never probably own a Dior lipstick in my life, so I'm keeping this little baby sample. And then I have two more crayons and this one I absolutely love it's one of those Clinique ones that has like that sheer formula this one is in flowering fuchsia and I'm pretty sure this came in one of those like makeup kits that you get when you spend like $27 or something because my foundations from um, Clinique and it's the exact <laughs> price you need for that little kit so I always go and they have a little kit uh, and then I have um, this one from Ulta and this one is in the shade Sarouche. So that one and then I have this one from Hourglass which is kind of like just a clear nude gloss in Influencer. And then I have this one from NARS. It's a birthday gift but I really can't part with this one. I absolutely love it and I don't think it's too old. Um, then I have, let's go over lipsticks. So Next, I have, of course, my Snow White and Besame one, all the seven dwarfs. And these are just cute, and they are totally a collector's item for me, and I'm definitely not getting rid of that. Okay, so I have my Alme ones. I was watching some Icy Color videos saying that these were all old. These are not old. They are still making these, and I only got me mine last year, so I know they are not old. I was watching that video like, do I really need to go look into these? And I was like, no, these were bought last year. So this one is in red light. This one is in pink light. And this one is in berry light. This is the light package that came and they were sort of like half off, I think Christmas time. So I did get these in January last year, but I absolutely love the formula. It's just like the sheer kind of tint to your lips. 
And I think this one is in berry medium or something. But it's a different shade. And then I have these three from Lipstick Queen. And I absolutely love these because they look like you're going to be wearing like this color on your lips. But literally this one's like a coral color and it's so pretty. This one is in Hello Sunshine. This one is in Frog Prince. It looks green. But it turns out this beautiful rosy pink on your lips and it's beautiful. And... I love the names, to be quite honest. And then this one is Hello Sailor. And I literally got this one because I'm married to a U.S. Sailor. And I wanted this lipstick <laughs> because of that sole reason. And I absolutely love these violet, like, lip tints on my lips. And this one is, like, blue. Like, royal blue. So it looks really cool. So, yeah, I bought those for basically packaging. And then I got this one in a Tarte, like, holiday kit, I think it was. This one's in the shade Surf's Up. I really love this shade. It's just this beautiful nude. And I really like the formula. This is, the, I think, their Rainforest formula. It's just one of those really creamy lipstick formulas. And this one is a Marc Jacobs one. And let's be honest, I'm never probably going to open another Marc Jacobs lipstick. And this came in one of those, like, little lip kits. Um, so I definitely want to keep this one. It's just a little baby. But I'm very happy to have him. And this one is one of those beautiful red lipstick. And this is by the Sephora brand. Just classic red. And I really like this one. Like I said, I could stand to give away a few reds. This one is by the brand Laura Mercier. And this is my only Laura Mercier product. And it's just a beautiful nude lipstick. And then I have two Make Up Forever lipsticks. And I really like the formula on these. Uh, one of these is just your classic red. So I have enough reds. I have a lot of reds. I do not feel bad about getting rid of any of my red lipsticks that I get rid of. And then I have the vampy one. So I think one of them is 401 and one of them is 500. Yeah. And then I had two Smashbox ones right here. And then of course... What do I have? Another red. So, I have worn this one. This one has a really nice formula. I wore this one around the holidays. Um, I also like this one a lot. This one's just like your perfect nude type shade. This one, if I want to buy a full size product that I really know I like the formula, I will buy this lipstick because I really love this Smashbox lipstick. So, if I buy, if I buy a full price lipstick, just to buy a full size lipstick, I would definitely buy these. I love this lipstick and I love the color and I love the formula. So this one is an e.l.f. lipstick that I got in a kit and it is Pink Minx. I think they were doing like any purchase, like any amount, I think you got like this free e.l.f. kit. And then I have these three from Clinique. Like I said, I always go get those like little kits and they always seem to include either a lipstick or a like lip crayon, something for your lips. And then I have this raspberry glaze, which I absolutely love this color. It's just one of their classic colors. Um, the next one I have here is Bamboo Pink. I love that one. The next one I have here is very just pink pink. And this one is just, it's called Matte Beauty. Which is the matte classic pink. And then this one is Think Bronze. And I do like the Clinique formula. So I have all those. And then these I literally just got not too long ago. I think I got them like last month. And then I didn't do a haul because I only got like five or six. So this one is in Trish Leches. These are the Belle ones from La Rock. And these were... I think like half off on the Rock website, so I decided to get these because they made them like five dollars lipstick, and that is really good for La Rock lipsticks, and they are beautiful like everyday shades, and I love the packaging. It has like this beautiful rose packaging, and this color is really beautiful. It's just like this beautiful nude, and I was thinking about that one. <laughs> this one's in the shade Red Rose. Again, beautiful classic red color. And these, I'm definitely going to keep on, like, probably display in my makeup room. 
This one is Believe. And this one is just like your everyday like muted pink nude. And then this one is True Beauty. And I think this one's more like a glossy color. One of them was like a glossy color. And this one is in French, so I don't, just that because it took three years of French, but that one's really beautiful. And then we have this one, which I'm not quite sure how much use I'll get out of this one, but it's really beautiful colors. And this one's like one of those beautiful muted pinks. And this one is in like a hot, hot pink, which is a very unique color. I don't think I have anything like that. So it's really gorgeous and I really like this packaging and then I have this little Urban Decay one which is in uh, Big Bang which I love that movie. I wore this one on Halloween and I was part of the My Little Ponies so this one is like very like metallic and pink and it's just so cute. I love that little shade. And then I got this YSL one and this one again it's just that classic red but it's YSL and then the packaging is beautiful. And then I have a Bobbi Brown one, and I absolutely love this shade on me. And it's one of those violet type of colors, and I like violet type of colors on me. So, of course, I am keeping this one. And it's just beautiful, beautiful packaging. And then I have one of the ColourPop lipsticks, and this is like my everyday shade. This is in the shade Layover. And I am thinking of getting more of these, but not anytime soon. I guess when, like, ColourPop releases a palette I have to have, I might get a new one, but... Um, I do really like the shade. I'm thinking I might get, I think it's like 27 and maybe Gallup or something, but this one, I absolutely love the shade. And then finally, as one of the ones I'm keeping, this one I'm keeping purely for sentimental reasons. I do not plan on wearing this one on my lips anytime soon. This is in the shade 87 by Estee Lauder. And this one my grandmother gave me and she has since passed. I know this, this lipstick is old. This lipstick is old. But I do not plan on wearing it on my lips. But I'm keeping it for sentimental, uh, sentimental reasons. And it's a beautiful gold packaging. So, Okay, so let's go over the ones I'm getting rid of. So I'm getting rid of these four from ColourPop. These are the lippy sticks. And these are like the darker vampire colors. This is when ColourPop first came out. So this is my first ever lippies. These are just old, they're trying to turn sheer, they just don't look good anymore. And that's not a good that's not a good way for like dark colors to look, so it just isn't good. So I have these in the shade Flawless LLBB. And LBB was a really beautiful color. That one was really pretty. Bruche and Jungle Rouge. So LBB was my one of my favorites, but it is going. And then I have this other Estee Lauder one better. So I'm going to go ahead and part with that one. And then I have these two Mary Kay ones that are basically empty. And they are at least four years old. They're at least three or four years old. And they are part of the gloss formula. This one's in the red gloss. And I wore this one night and day when I got it. Sparkleberry. And I tried to like actually pull product of it the other day. And nothing's coming out. So I think it's actually empty. <laughs> and then this is the pink one of the same formula. And it's just getting bad. So those have gone bad, or they're just plain out. And this is one of those Bite lipsticks, but it has broken. It's one of those dual-ended lipsticks that were so popular a few years ago. And I really did like the formula, but it's broken so much that I can't use it. And it's really dark shade, so I kind of don't care to bother with it. I had these two from Clinique that the mascara is completely dried out and I know I got these in the kit quite a while back and one of is in raspberry glaze and since I have a raspberry glaze and a full size lipstick I figure I don't need these. So since they are old the mascara is dried out so I'm presuming they're too old to keep. Um, I have this one from Clinique in violet and it's one of those lip crayons. This one is pretty much all the way gone. I'm like scraping bottom on this one, so it's pretty much out, so I might as well just throw it away. This one is from L'Oreal, and I don't think they even make these anymore, and it's old, so it's just going. And then I have these two by NYX, and I think I got these when I first discovered Ulta, so they're a good bit old, 
and I think I got them on clearance and I have enough lip tints that I don't need these so they are old and gross and they are getting thrown away so that is my entire collection so I'm going to pause this video and do a quick tally okay so I have final count and sadly keeping 108 lipsticks okay some of those are collector's items some of them are for style degrees some are for packaging and some I just really like so I mean it is all different formulas so 108 just, mm, it's a lot but it doesn't seem that bad since it is all different formulas um, getting rid of 25 that are going that I'm giving away and then I'm throwing away 14 um, so all in all 39 are going so that makes you feel a lot better so thank you everyone for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I'll get more use since it's a smaller collection now so bye